Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Benizia Malkwe of Living Streams International. I bring you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. And this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts with the words, desperate desires. In, in Genesis chapter 19, did you see what was going on? The Bible says the men, the men of Sodom were so desperate that even though Lot had been pulled in and the door had been shut, the Bible said they sought to break, the, 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 break down the door. They are, they are trying to break down the door for the pursuit of their desires and nothing else matters. And then you see what, what happened to them. You see what, what, what happens to them. But look at it this way. There are certain things, if you don't deal with it right now, it will, it will lead you to death. The Bible says they were so desperate. They were so desperate to, do, to commit crime. They were desperate. What kind of men were they? You'd be very surprised there are people like that who are so committed to doing wrong and to doing evil. They're so committed to it. Nothing is going to shake them. Nothing is going to ward them off. But guess what happens to them? The men of Sodom were so desperate to do evil that they were breaking down doors. These people also, what makes, when you begin to work in those things, you, you, all the boundaries, you, you erase all the boundaries and then you break down the barriers. So there's nothing that stops you from doing evil. That's what they were doing. Well, it is interesting, but that's, that's part of the choices you have to make. You see people going to all sorts of length just to do the wrong. No fear of God, no nothing. Just to do the wrong. Hmm, mm, mm. Anyway, the choices will always remain yours. Keep your desires in check. Make sure they are godly. See you later.